Artificial intelligence is one of the most talked about topics of the 21st century. It's everywhere, from chatbots helping you shop to facial recognition at the airport, but there's so much more to it than just some fake images on social media. In this series, we'll break down the buzz and reveal how AI is shaping our world in ways you might not even realize. Artificial intelligence, or AI, refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and learn like human beings. And these machines can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, such as recognizing speech, making decisions, solving problems, and even understanding natural language. And while it may seem like we're living in the future, AI has been around for nearly half a century. The first time that we heard about AI was in 1987 when IBM's Deep Blue beat the world chess champion. AI can be broadly categorized into two types. First, there's classic AI. It's sometimes referred to as algorithmic or traditional AI. It's a narrow AI designed to perform a specific task that a human would typically perform, and it does this by recognizing patterns in data and predicting what may happen next, summarizing what's already happened, or making suggestions. They can't do anything outside their program functions, but they excel within their specific domain. Then there's generative AI. Gen AI can create new content and ideas, such as images, videos, music, stories, and conversations. And Gen AI models learn patterns and structure from their input training data and then generate new data. Now that we know about the two types of AI, let's break down how AI works. At its core, artificial intelligence works through a combination of algorithms, data, and computational power. Think of an algorithm as a set of instructions that AI follows to perform a task. Here's a simplified breakdown of how it works. First, there's data collection. AI systems require large amounts of data to learn and make predictions or decisions. And this data could be structured like databases or unstructured like images, music, videos, the next step is data pre-processing. Before feeding data into AI algorithms, it often needs to be cleaned, normalized, and prepared for analysis, which helps ensure that the data is in a format that the AI system can understand and process effectively. After data pre-processing, there's algorithm selection. Different AI tasks require different algorithms, and it's important that you pick the right one for the problem that you're trying to solve. Selections can be based on the time to train that model, the number of parameters or features, or even how accurate that model might be. For example, machine learning tasks might use algorithms like decision trees, neural networks, or support vector machines but large language models like Claude require more computational power and memory, which may not be readily available. Once you've selected the algorithm to use, you've got to train it. In supervised learning, the AI models trained using labeled data, where the input data and the corresponding correct output are provided. And during training, the algorithm learns the underlying patterns and relationships in that data and can identify trends in the data set to generate new insights. After training comes testing and evaluation. This is where the AI model is tested on a separate data set to evaluate its performance. And this, help, this step helps assess how well the model generalizes to new unseen data and whether it can make accurate predictions or decisions. Once that model has been trained and evaluated, it can be deployed to perform real world tasks. This could involve integrating it into software applications, devices, or systems where it can analyze data, make predictions, or automate processes. After deployment, you need a feedback loop. 
In many cases, AI systems have a feedback loop where they continuously learn and improve over time. And this can involve retraining the model with new data or fine tuning its parameters based on user feedback. Overall, the workings of AI involve a complex interplay between algorithms, data, and iterative learning processes to achieve that desired outcome. AI is already transforming numerous industries. In healthcare, AI is used to diagnose diseases and recommend treatments. In finance, it helps detect fraudulent activities. And in entertainment, AI creates realistic special effects and personalizes content recommendations for your binge watching. There's no doubt that artificial intelligence is a powerful tool that's reshaping our world in incredible ways. There is so much that we can do with the power of AI, so it's essential to stay informed and engaged with how it works and the emerging trends in the industry. Subscribe to our channel to get the latest AI Foundation episodes as we dive deeper into other concepts in AI, such as LLM, machine learning, and RAG in later videos. We'll see you next time.